Hey all, former Dre back at it. Today we're gonna go ahead and spray the orchard. So what we have back here is this uh, 50, 500 gallon tank. We just were using it to water the trees and stuff. Isaac is out here, he's gonna go ahead and disconnect that and help me connect the sprayer. You know, usually whenever I connect the sprayer, I'm by, by myself, so I have to jump in and out. But since he wants to help me out, why not let him do, uh, yeah. <laughs> let down. him do uh, most of the, uh, Stuff outside the tractor there, and I'll do it from Over inside there. here. Is that good? Lower. Lower, the lower. Lower? Lower. Go good? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go get it. Connect the sprayer. So, on our sprayer, we keep it underneath these carports back here, and the reason is the whole entire tank and the outside and everything is made out of. Uh, fiberglass so if you keep it out in the sun it's gonna crack really easily and we just don't like to let it sit in the sun like that so hey you got a bunch of PTO shafts so that's the reason we keep it under these carports it just keeps it nice and clean and uh don't have any problems in the Easy as a pie, got that connected. And now we're gonna go ahead and fill it up with water. This is a 500 gallon tank. It, it's just an air blast sprayer. And it sends out real fine mist and then the air from the turbine in the back really gets up and going and gets it stuck to the leaves and the side or the, whatever we're spraying. I'm gonna spray a few uh, fungicides and probably one or two insecticides with different modes of action for a summer spray today. And we usually, like to, we usually like to spray at night. The wind is uh, down, and you know tonight the relative humidity is lower, and there's no not going to be any dew in the morning, so we should be good to go. And we always watch out for that stuff before we start spraying. We're going to go ahead and fill it up here and go on our way. So during the summer months, we usually like to spray either early morning, between six and nine o'clock, and if we do spray in the evening like we are tonight. You want to do that between 8:30 and any anywhere later, because it gets so hot during the day that if you do spray anything with a low, uh, very low pH, then you could actually burn the trees, burn the leaves. So that's the only reason we're spraying at night and early in the mornings out during the summer. And it's super hot out here. I am wearing my uh, fancy work boots and shorts. I hardly ever wore shorts. Look at the difference in my hands and my legs here. I need uh, I need to work on my tan there. So. Put the hose in there and let it fill up, and then I gotta go inside the office and see what insecticide and fun shot we're gonna use. Then I'll be back here shortly to mix the tank and get out there. Alrighty, so I am out here in the orchard. The tank is full, and now there's an agitator in the bottom of the tank there. I'm just letting it mix the chemicals thoroughly, make sure it's all ready to go mix and everything. I'm gonna turn the tractor in, uh, in gear here. 540 RPMs and start spraying here. Alrighty, so we got most of the orchard spray, the big orchard, and now I'm still running into the high density here. And the high density is my favorite to spray at night. I uh, stop the sprayer and take a few pictures because the orchard in the light looks really good. The posts and the wires, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that as well. So hopefully we'll get done here within the hour and be done. I got block once to spray all the young trees and then just high density and that's it. So uh, getting close to the end, like I said, the high density is one of my favorites to spray at night. So just got done spraying, the tank is empty, and the whole orchard is sprayed. Now I am going to go to bed, because this is about 11.30 at night, and then we'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, so it is uh, Wednesday morning, and the last night I was editing this video, and I just realized that I didn't film much other than spraying at night, and you couldn't see anything. But I'm out here in the high-density orchard this morning. I want to go ahead and show you guys the uh, sprays 
and how high the, how the high density apples have been doing. Came through and sprayed with two fungicides and one insecticide. Our orchard has a history of having uh, fruit rot issues. So that's why we come through, you know, pretty much every other week, every 10 days and spray with that insect uh, fungicide so we keep that uh, the rot off the trees and stuff. But I'm standing out here on our galas and as you guys can see here, these are our two year old tree here. These are the galas with uh, on a G41 rootstock there, the Graft Union. And as you guys can see here, these trees are absolutely loaded with some nice quality fruit here. And as you guys can see here, I'm not gonna touch the tree because of the, the residue there on the leaves. But as you guys can see here, we got an even coverage of spray there on the trees. And I think I sprayed a little too much here. I gotta calibrate the sprayer because you don't want that dripping off. That's just a waste of uh, chemical over there. But as you guys can see here, is nice coverage. And the fruit is looking good. Nice quality fruit there on both sides. The nice thing about the high density orchard is that you come through on this side, spray nicely. Then you come through on this side and spray as well. So uh, most of these trees have been doing pretty well. We've been really dry here lately, so we've been having to irrigate. And that's why the leaves are curling up here. We have to come through and irrigate them one more time. As you can see here, the uh, growth has been really good this year. We broke bud right here this past spring, and that's already 12 to 14 inches of growth this past spring so not too bad here on the high density apples but these galas have really been productive this year i am very impressed very very impressed so we're just trying to keep the apple trees healthy the fruit healthy and ready for a good harvest and on the on these trees on the galas here the ones that have flowered i went ahead and left one or two fruit on them and same thing on the jonathan's here but these ones Trees were a lot smaller than they were whenever compared to these galas. We're still going to see a little bit of fruit here on the Jonathans. And as you can see here, look at the amount of growth we've had. It broke bud right there. And that's at least two foot of growth right there. And uh, the tree's been growing good. I've been fertilizing them with some calcium nitrate, trying to get that the nitrogen levels to them. There should be plenty of potassium and phosphorus in the soil. It's just trying to make them grow. And we've been really dry, like I mentioned. We haven't had a lot of rain, you know, in a while. So right now they're calling for a 30% chance of rain, but all the rainstorms have missed us. So as you guys can see here, I wish we get three to four inches, kind of really saturate the soil. But we've been so dry, we, I mean, it, it, it's dusty, it's dusty. I mean, you can tell in between the roads here, we killed it off with some uh, herbicide. It's, it's dry, it's really dry. So, yep, trees are looking good, orchards looking good. Now it's time to get back to work. And another problem that our orchard has, or on the older trees, is San Jose scale. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys heard me talk about this last year. And San Jose scale is a tiny insect that lays its egg on the bark. And it actually penetrates in through the cambium layer and starts sucking all the nutrients and all the, um, all the fluids out of the cambium layer. And then your tree could potentially die. That's why we had to replace a lot of the older trees there in block one is because we lost quite a bit of limbs on the older trees to San Jose scale. So the beauty about this high density apple system is that you are getting the spray on the actual wood itself. The leaves and they, they are covered in the spray we are happy but a lot of the time we want to see the wood being covered by the uh, spray there. And as you see on this high density apple it is really easy to get that spray and the penetration on the, these trees here so we shouldn't have any problems if we stay on top, stay on top of things and monitor for them we shouldn't have any issues here in the high density but then again you never know when we like we just got so busy and sometimes i forget to spray and you know three weeks pass by i was like oh man i gotta go through and spray the orchard so you just gotta know what's in your orchard what's going on monitor you know drive through the orchard every day see what's going on and uh one thing that's really nice i like i like seeing the growth on you know just the progression that the season provides and that's why i like driving through the orchard but you know i'm driving and looking around for other many important stuff as well once again i want to show you guys these galas they are very impressive i am very impressed two years old in their second leaf I'm gonna produce us a really really nice crop here so gotta love it anyways this is gonna be pretty much it for today we just sprayed the orchard and uh I want to give you guys a quick little update here, but if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, go ahead and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day.
We'll see you next time.